What's going on guys? It's movie of movie gaming TV. Um, just decided to call this video Diamond Dynasty update. I didn't really know what to upload today. Uh, didn't feel really like doing a debut or playing online or anything. What I thought I would do is I thought I would just uh, kind of talk about what I've been up to in Diamond Dynasty, what we got on the horizon. Uh, that kind of thing. Uh, just kind of answer some questions you may have type of deal uh, about new content. Uh, that kind of thing. So I don't know. Uh, maybe if you guys like this video, uh, I'll do more videos like this in the future. But I just I this is kind of what I thought about uh, doing for a uh, a video today. So first things first. I did finish out this Jackie Robinson program, finished it all the way out. Uh, there's a video if you guys need help with getting it done. Once you get those doubles and the triples, the rest of it wasn't too bad. I mean, you just pretty much go through the moments. It's not too bad. Um, let's see if we can hop back over to the missions. And I think I did. There's kind of a big exchange at the end. Uh, it's not extremely difficult but you can do all of it just playing offline it's, it's pretty easy as far as the card goes itself you guys can see i do have him in my starting lineup i actually think this card uh, might be pretty damn good at second base with 119 122 80 79 so he's over 75 in both the power 125 vision so the pci that he's gonna have is like it's uh about as uh you know the size of it is about as big as possible 86 fielding 95 speed uh he does have 71 arm which i like my second baseman have a cannon for an arm uh and diamond fielding i, I really like that in a second baseman because it helps on double plays it helps on relay throws but he's got a lot of hitting and he's got 95 speed so to use this card you can be really selective with this card because your opponent kind of has to pitch to him otherwise he's putting a 95 speed card on uh first base and that's usually a recipe for disaster especially if you guys have seen like the stealing bases video like 95 speed 90 steal you should be able to steal bases pretty dang easy with that uh with those ratings uh there's no question about that and he's got pretty good hitting. I think he's going to have like sneaky pop. I think he's going to have sneaky pop to the gaps. Uh, Lord knows I've taken like so many swings with him. And again, this is a, this is a card that was the collection reward. It's pretty much ideal with the, it's pretty much exactly how it was uh, that I can remember from MLB 16. Now we're on that 125 scale, but he's boosted up like that. So this is a really good free card. You're, you're definitely 100% going to want to go through this program and get this card. Like it's, it's worth your time to go through it. There's a ton of rewards. Uh, it's, it's definitely worth the time to go through that, get these rewards. There's tons of stuff in here that you get. Uh, I, I def, it doesn't really, I mean, it really won't even take you probably that long <laughs> to be honest with you. So I definitely recommend, uh, going after that one. Um, this time around did finish up the King Griffey Jr. Program as well um picked up the you know the bat skin picked up some packs i really um you know these were uh the the trickiest one out of this one was that team winning one i don't know i just it was tough to get a hit with uh um, the uh the tony Gwynn jr for whatever reason he doesn't doesn't have that great a hitting stats so to get him back to back um it wasn't exactly easy uh if, make sure if you guys don't get a hit obviously with tony Gwynn senior in the first uh in, in that first part of it make sure you guys reset the moment because the second moment will just waste your time if you don't get the first one done the rest of them they're pretty easy to get done what i'm working on now is i am going back and getting done all of the moments that i haven't done what i'm trying to get done right now is i'm trying to get basically everything that i can uh on full blast i still have a couple chase anderson things to go through maybe like one brandon crawford looks like i got some uh alex wood the, the alex wood and uh the chase anderson probably be the very last things i do just because i really don't like to pitch too much uh to the computer i just I, those missions are very tedious to accomplish but most of the hitting ones 
uh, I like to do. What is this? Oh, so I gotta. I've been going through all the stage one, stage two. Um, I make sure I do all those moments, all the DOS and all the Keith Hernandez, Posada. I haven't done the Gibson. I need to do the Gibson. I'm probably gonna do that soon. Um, Players Tournament Wood Granderson. What do I have left with Granderson? So I actually got a couple Granderson ones that I can do. I mean, it's just 400 subs, a thousand XP. Um, if you guys are starting to hit the prestige level, it's just kind of like I'm trying to get all the XP I can. I'm definitely gonna go through all of these and do all the these position ones. They're not that. I mean, most of them aren't even that difficult. Um, that one is three home runs. That might be a little tricky, but. Most of them aren't too bad, so it's just, again, it's just free stubs and XP, and if I don't accomplish the mission when I'm going through it, let's see it, let's say even for example, um, I'm trying to do this Pete Alonzo one, and I only hit two home runs instead of three, um, and I failed the mission, um, I'm still getting some XP along the way, like, I'm just con constantly, like, playing to get the XP, so I like the, the XP bonus at the end. And then I like just, you know, oh, I only hit two home runs and we got 600 XP or whatever it was from like trying to get this accomplished. Like I just kind of like building towards that XP. Um, uh, I like doing that. I like getting the stubs from this, uh, especially if you've uh, hit your goals that you want to hit. Like I usually this this year in this game, I pretty much have been hitting World Series and like that's good enough for me. Um, but once I get caught up on there's a couple things like once I gotta I gotta finish off these Pudge ones and these uh Carlos Gonzalez I finished Eckersley and Eddie Matthews obviously finished Jackie. Once I get caught up on all of the moments though, um, that's really what I, like my goal after I make the World Series is I really liked nice that's a good pull up there. Uh, I really like getting all of the moments done so I'm caught up with them and I have them all done. I got the XP from them. I got the stubs from them. Um, as far as affinity goes, I still got to finish, uh, affinity up. I'm getting pretty damn close to being done. Um, need some more innings with chipper. I don't even know. I might even, I might even eventually do this plus five, um, uh, over and over again. I don't know. I might exchange. I have no idea yet, but I, I need to finish up the Braves. I've kind of been letting the chipper do that naturally. Um, for these, I'm getting pretty close to. Are we just five points away on this from fi from finishing this up? 250 innings. Um, I do have Correa, and, or excuse me, I do have uh, Biggio, and now I also have George Springer on my team. I'll do a little team update. He's who I picked out of the level 25 packs. Um, the other day when my mic was messing up, I was trying to say uh, really that. And it's, it's going to be a little bit different now. But I do kind of like having Posey on the bench because I just can't find a guy that can hit versus left-handed pitches at, pitching at like 125, 115, 96. Just a huge bat to have uh, off the bench for sure. But if I didn't play Jackie, let's say I put him down here and I, um, I put Craig here and I had Posey in, <clears throat> the reason I took George Springer I still could potentially do that. Like if I really wanted to pinch it for Jackie, I like, I like having, I like having Craig and Posey, like having a, a catcher off the bench is nice. Cause you usually can find somebody on the bench to play them someplace else. But uh, my point was going to be, if I had Posey in my lineup versus a left-handed pitcher, I mean, just for right now, bear with me, Posey being here. Probably if I, obviously if I did that, I'd have my lineup like this. But this lineup would just be insane against a left-handed pitcher. You got Chipper with the 117. You got uh, Sheffield with 124. You have Springer with 124. You have Mickey with 125, 105. You have Biggio with 110, 83. You have Buster Posey with 125, 96. So maybe if I face a righty, I'll just use Jackie. And maybe if I face a lefty, I'll move Posey in and uh, just, you know... Like if we face Hal Newhauser, we face Lodolo. Uh, who knows if we're gonna, what we're gonna get in these uh, next programs? If we face like, you know, if Chipper or excuse me, if um, if we get Clayton Kershaw, it looks like Casey Mize is gonna be. We know we got these tips today. It looks like Casey Mize is going to be um, coming into the game uh, as a new BR reward. I, reward. I think that's gonna be on Tuesday. I want to say. Uh, maybe it's Monday, maybe it's Tuesday. 
I'm also not sure if there's gonna be a couple other ones because the last one that we got the last we got like two right so we got um we got Machado and we also picked up uh what was it Dave Parker these are the last two let me go over to BR for a second uh let's see go over to BR so we got these two but it doesn't feel like there's gonna be three spots like right here like they'll move these two over to these those spots right here and then they'll have three new spots where you see like Glavin, Zobris, and Smoltz. So Machado and Parker, they'll move over to the right. And then Tom Glavin, Ben Zobris, and Smoltz, like they'll have three new cards. Because it did say like 1C with my eyes. I just have a feeling three cards are coming. Could I be wrong? Obviously, I could be wrong. But that's just, uh, I just kind of feel like that that's a possibility. Um... <clears throat> So let me uh, talk to you guys about one more thing. I could talk to you. I'm actually, uh, I think these videos actually might be helpful. Just, you know, these Diamond Dynasty update videos. Uh, if you guys are, you know, when we, we have, when there's stuff to talk about. Uh, let's see if we can take a look at the schedule at all. Uh, so, yeah, we got uh, Jackie Robinson. Da, 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 da. Battle Royale rewards 623. That'll be on Tuesday. That's got to be on Tuesday because it's 621. It's Sunday right now. Moonshot Southpaw, we're going to have a new event. And then the new program with the 99s of the Hidden Legend revealed. Those really are... Uh, that's that's coming up quickly, man. That that fifth inning program is coming up quickly. Um, that'll be, what, Friday? Let me pull up my calendar real quick on my computer, all right? Uh, let's see. That'll be 626. So this coming Friday, we're going to have a new program with the 99s and a Hidden Legend reveal. Uh, I'll touch. I'll touch on. Uh, I'll touch on two things before we get out of here. One of them has to do with ESL this weekend. Um, I played my first game. It did not register. Uh, I tried to take a screenshot and everything and send it in in time. Um, that was uh, just basically they said I didn't send it in in time or something like that. It was supposed to automatically count. I took a screenshot, a couple of screenshots. So I gave them that. Then I opened up a protest ticket. They said it didn't t it just basically there was a glitch. It didn't count my game and it got me kicked out of the tournament. We had it on legend and we had it on uh standard umps, which means that like you can throw a pitch completely. I'm talking completely in the strike zone. Be called a ball. That's going to be changed. It's going to be hall of fame next weekend. And it's going to be, I hope I believe it's going to be perfect. Um, ne umps next weekend. Um, we need perfect umps is a must. It must be perfect umps. I don't care if you play it on Hall of Fame or Legend as much as it's got to be perfect. That has to be. Uh, they, it just it ha it's one of those things that like if you came into this game and you didn't and you're setting up a tournament and you didn't play it like every single day, like it's got to be like that. There's no ifs ands or buts. It just does not play well or correctly on standard. So hopefully we get that on perfect. Hopefully we get that to Hall of Fame next weekend. It sucks that I I just pretty much had to take the L this weekend. Um, just one of those things. It's not the end of the world. I'm just looking forward to playing next week in it. The other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about were these cards. Um, a lot of people, and it looks like they're going back up. I think they went down to like 160 at one point. So you got Joe Adele. I guess you can get them buy now for or sell now for 160. Uh, you got Joe Adele stacked absolutely sick this card reminds me of like a mike trout type of card honestly uh but he's got a little bit more speed he has an 83 arm and 86 fielding that i kind of remember mike trout having uh 110 108 stacked card stacked card uh especially i mean i'd almost say he's better versus left with that 97 contact uh with the 108 but he does have 110 versus right that's a stacked stack card been seeing people having really good results with this Arnie Banks 95, 114, 102, 125. Probably could make a uh, creative player at second base that has a lot of pop and move Craig to catcher if you really want to use this Banks card and move Banks to second base. 125, 102 versus left. So he's stacked versus left versus right. 101 vision. The defense is okay. It's not great, but the hitting is fantastic. Uh, so banks another really good card the card that I really wanted to talk about is the role of Chapman. This to me is the best card in the ducks on the palm packs this card I, I don't even know why he's so I think maybe he's a little bit cheaper because people want to select him more But this card you're gonna want to get hundred percent. You should save up and get this card 
after you get the collections done. Get the collections done first. Get the collections done first. That's the number one objective of Diamond Dynasty. Um, I've been seeing that in my chat a lot. I, you may disagree with me, but in my opinion, the number one objective in Diamond Dynasty is to get the collections done. Get them done first so you get Mantle, you get Biggio, you get Sheffield. You really, really want those cards. You really want the prestige. You especially want Mantle. But that should be your first objective. Save up your stubs to get that. Don't just like be... I'm not saying don't get a card on the side. I'm not saying don't do whatever you want to do. But if, it, if you're in my position, we're just like you're looking for my advice on what to do with your stubs, make sure you take care of Mantle first. Then, honestly, I would get this card. This is the best bullpen card in the game, and it's going to be one of the best bullpen cards we get. There's no doubt about the fact that he's in game with 125, 125, a four seam, a sinker, a slider, a changeup. And he has, you know, he has double quirks, man. He has the outlier one and he has the outlier two. So he's, he's insane. This card is worth every single penny. This card's worth at least 200. And once this card goes away and it's not in packs or whatever, where, I mean, we, we might have this, we never really know what, what promotional stuff's going to come down the line. Like if there's going to be more of these packs in conquest, that kind of thing to flood the market. A little bit more, but to me, this card is worth at least 200k all day and, and tomorrow. Um, it's just that good. Like, if we, let's just say we had an average amount of supply, you know, I would pay 200k for this. I would pay probably 250k for this. Uh, this card, if it ever gets out of circulation, is going to skyrocket uh, because it's just the best bullpen card you can have. And the thing is, every single player, I don't care what your rating is. Let's just say, um, you know, if you're like a lower rated player but you still like to to build like a really nice team and everything like that this card 100 percent has to be on every single competitive player's team let's say you have a 770 rating or above this card really needs to be on your team to help you compete like so it's like it, it it's like as uh much of a need as anything in the world man it's like it's like oxygen you need this card <laughs> It's a, it's a need, it's a great card, and it's not exactly easy to get. So that I I like Banks, I like Joe Adele. There might be, there's gonna be other cards, you know, the Willie Mazes of the world, the Hannes Wagners of the world, even the cap, you can still play at shortstop, no problem. This is extremely difficult to replicate. It's almost impossible. 125, 125, with a four seam over a hundred, a sinker that's ridiculous, a slider, and a change up. You just don't find cards like this uh, every day. This is a card you're going to want to add. So yeah, this is uh, pretty much Diamond Dynasty update. If you guys like this video and you made it to this point, uh, just let me know uh, that you like this because uh, I can do more videos like this. I'm not really sure at times what people want from my channel. I don't know if they want like gameplay or more like kind of like, um, you know, tips like this, just kind of talking about. Uh, I, I really feel like I got a good pulse on the community, on what I see in the comp players. Like, I talk to people about the game little, literally every single day. So, if you guys kind of like these advice type of videos, uh, maybe that's something that you're after. Uh, just uh, just let me know, um, and I can make more of them. So, uh, I, I like to make them. So, if you guys like them and I like to make them, that's a good combination. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace out.